What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the Beastly Gamer channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about this new PlayStation update, PlayStation Update 4.0. 4.0 is out. It, I just downloaded it and installed it. I've been tinkering around with it. I have some things I really like about it. And just in case you guys haven't had a chance to go over everything that you're going to get with this new update, I'd like to go over it with you and let you guys know exactly what you can expect from this new and pretty comprehensive update, okay? So first of all, you get new system backgrounds. You can change new background images, uh, and that's always a plus if you can make your PlayStation look different than it did last week. Uh, a generally cleaned up but not drastically different home menu, which I didn't really notice too much of. A new quick menu. Now if you press and hold the PlayStation button, this will only take up a part of the screen and allow you to customize what information it shows like your friends list and parties. You get enhanced Spotify connectivity using the new quick menu, which will allow you to more easily queue up tunes while you play, which is really, really an awesome addition. Hitting the share button will now bring up a streamlined menu that allows 140 second video uploads to Twitter instead of just the 10 second uploads that were allowed previously. You can now organize your apps and games into folders on the PlayStation 4 home screen. These folders saved my life. I have well over 200 games on this PlayStation 4 and being able to create different folders. I've got disc game folders now. I have my favorites. I've got uh, indies. I've got PlayStation Plus stuff. All these different folders that have really made a huge difference. When you go into that library and you look for a game and you got to scroll and scroll and scroll, these new additions really, really save a lot of time. All PS4 consoles are now enabled with high dynamic range or HDR support, meaning games and movies can now look better on TVs that support that feature. This was what uh, Sony really did a lot of talking about at their PlayStation meeting on September 7th, the new HDR abilities, uh, especially with the PlayStation Pro. But now every PlayStation 4 has this update, so now everybody can enjoy that feature. Now a new ability has been added to transfer all your data to a new PlayStation 4 or the PlayStation 4 Pro via a wired connection when a console comes out November 10th. So obviously, Sony is banking on a lot of people doing a lot of updating and upgrading to PlayStation 4 Pro. And if that's the case, they wanna make it as easy and as painless as possible via this update. There are also a couple of other small improvements to the trophy system and user profiles, but these are smart updates, obviously. Uh, the PS4 home screen gets a little cluttered when you have too many games, so folders will alleviate that. And to me, that's probably the biggest thing for me. The number one thing that I like about this new update is the ability to make folders. The new Spotify connectivity for people who enjoy Spotify, listening to different tunes and listening to your favorite jams while you play a game is really awesome. The newly enabled high dynamic range feature is really good for people who have those newer TVs as well. And it kind of makes PlayStation and Xbox more comparable now that Xbox One S came out with HDR support. Now all PlayStations have it, making them more competitive. You guys let me know what you think about PlayStation Update 4.0. What is your favorite feature here? And what would you like to see Sony include with this update? Because of course we know updates are not perfect. I'm really enjoying the ability to create folders. To me, that's a lifesaver and a time saver when it comes to this PlayStation. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for the channel. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.